So warm, so warm. Book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 13. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saveth them. Verse 14, whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear, nor be afraid, for he is his hope. 15, blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doeth he look, and who is his strength? First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our Apostle Elder's great millstone, the Brother Kabad, Brother Ara. All right, back with another Lord willing, edifying lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and this uh, lesson is going to be on fear. All right, fearing the Lord and how it's going to go well with those in these latter days that do fear the Lord. All right, when you go into that word, fear means to be greatly terrified of someone or something likely causing pain. All right, and we know, you know, these, a lot of these videos don't like to get, you know, many hits or views or anything like that because this is not appealing to Jake. Mm -hmm. Fearing the Lord is not appealing. It's not, uh, 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 it doesn't grab your attention. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in, in these latter days, <laughs> the Lord is going to grab a lot of people's attention through their fear. And you want to fear now before the Lord brings uh, the things that you fear the most. Right. You know? So read that again, Baba Kasha. Yep. The book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 13. <clears throat> the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saveth them. Yeah. So the ones that are fearing the Lord, the hopeful elect, which you want to be a part of, all right? And that starts with, once again, uh, 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 fearing, the beginning of wisdom. Tells you that in Proverbs, the first chapter, uh, the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, roughly paraphrasing. Get that real fast, Bobby Kishaw. Yep. I don't want to butcher it. Proverbs 1 to 7. Yeah. Because the scripture says, the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Right. If you want to live, you got to have this knowledge. The knowledge of the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge. Yeah, it's the beginning of knowledge. Not fearing man, not fearing the creatures that the Lord has created. It's about fearing Him. And you do that through actions. Your day-to-day -day actions. And you are going to live. Because when you read what, Deuteronomy 32, 39, the Lord controls the issues of life and death. Yeah, yep. Psalm 68 and 20. Samuel 2 and 6. Yeah, get one of those, Bobby Kishaw. It doesn't matter. Yeah, come. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 37, uh, 39. Salaki. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I am, see now that I, even I am he, mm -hmm. and there is no power with me. Go ahead. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right. <clears throat> so you saw what just happened to Fat Man Scoop. Right? The mm -hmm. Lord did that. Somewhere along the lines, he wasn't fearing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And when we say those names, we're calling on the true names of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son in ancient Hebrew, the Lashman Kodash. All right, we're not going to call, you know, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son anything. It doesn't matter. The names do matter. And if you fear the Lord, you were calling those true names, man. Yep. And you wouldn't teach your congregation lies, things of that nature. But anyways, <clears throat> going back to Sirach, the 34th chapter, it said the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Why? Because scriptures say wisdom shall meet you with every thought. Mm -hmm. What's that wisdom to fear? You're not going to uh, commit adultery. You're not going to be idol worshiping. You know? Bro, yeah, just a lot of things you're just not gonna do because you fear Yahweh by Shimei Yep. You're gonna you you're not you're gonna avoid trying to be that work husband that <laughs> that that married woman is trying to get you to be. Mm -hmm. You know, uh you think about Joseph and how 
you know, uh, I think one of uh, Pharaoh's wives was trying to get him to go off. Mm -hmm. But because he had a spirit of, of uh, fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, there's just some things that you're just not going to do. Right. And because of that, the Lord is going to, you know, uh, show favor and mercy to those of us who continue to fear him. Mm -hmm. um, I got to, can I bring a precept? You got it. Because we talked about the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. I looked at that word live. It says remain. Mm. Right? Remain alive. Sirach 23 and 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. Mm. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. You got it. No, remain is to be left alive after a great slaughtering. Mm -hmm. So it's going to come a point in time that we're going to actually get to see in real time. Lord, when we part of that elect number. When there's a great slaughtering going forth through the judgments that the Lord is going to be performing, you know, how important it was to fear the Lord. Yeah. You know, uh, how important it was to, to do this work uh, sincerely, not deceitfully, not uh, doing it for filthy lucre's sake, mm -hmm. for debates, being an asshole to the Lord's people, you know, right. feeding the sheep sincerely. We're going to know why that was so important. We understand that to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. But the experience is, we're getting ready to experience that, Lord willing, we endure to the end. Come. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be a beautiful thing. We, you know, we hold on. You know? <clears throat> you got anything else? Um, You want me to read some more of that Surat 34 and 13? Yeah, read verse 14 and 15 again. Yep. Uh, Surat 34 and 14 says, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Yeah, look, going back to basically about Sirach, the second chapter, mm -hmm. you know, who so trusts in, in the Lord, you know, pretty much they're not going to be confounded. <clears throat> you know, trust and fear goes hand in hand. That's right. You know, who so fear the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid. Because we know at the end of the day, if if, if it's our lot to go out, <clears throat> you know, be put to death, hey, look, we, 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 the Lord uh, conquered death, man. That's right. Yahweh yeah, shot conquered that. We got nothing to fear, man. It says, um, what does it say? Uh, uh, Should not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. And that hope goes back to faith, which is a gift. You know, I read about that in Ephesians, the second chapter. All right. This gift we have of faith also is a gift of fear. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go well for you at the end, man. Things are going to get tight. Things are going to get scary. It's going to be like there's no hope, but you got to continue to fear in your heart, fear y'all by some y'all shot, especially during that hour of temptation. You know, the things we go through is to build us up for these tough times. But guess what? You got to continue to fear. And if I could say, too, it's beautiful you said that. So that that means if you don't fear your heart by some y'all shot, you have no hope. Mm-hmm. Like you have nothing to look forward to. So you just, you know, when all hell break loose, you're just going to be in survival mode with no no vision, no plan. <laughs> but but the elect, the hopeful elect, as we call ourselves, when all hell break loose, we have a plan. Mm -hmm. And that is to put all our eggs in one basket, and that's trusting Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and a true power that we know exists. We all have our testimonies to know that this is a true and living power or that we truly believe in that's going to be there for us. Read down to 17, Bobak Shah. All right, verse 15 says, Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doeth he look. Yeah, favorite is that servant. All right, who feareth the Lord. Your favorite in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, through his own begotten Son, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that favor is going to be bestowed in these latter days, man. Through what? Uh, protection. Being able to eat in these latter days, being able to drink, you know, to to to, uh, uh, to be uh, ultimately uh, uh, beamed up in the chariots. You got it. It says, reading on verse fifteen, and who is his strength? Mm -hmm. Verse sixteen, for the eyes of the Lord are upon him, so like it, for the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. That's right. Love is keeping the commandments. What are the eyes of the Lord? The angels. This makes you think about Psalms um, 34. Yep, 34 uh, and 7. Yeah, I'll get that real quick for you. 
This is Psalms 34 and 7. I start at 6. It says, This poor man crieth, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Verse 7, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivered them. That's why when we, we saw that angel, which we know and believe that to be an angel that appeared in the L.A. camp. We was talking about that the other day at camp. Yo, that was a faith booster. <laughs> that that really <clears throat> represents that the Lord is dealing with, you know, uh, uh, those brothers. And, and mm -hmm. we we love those brothers. We, we're doing the work as well. Yep. That's a faith booster to all those of the hopeful elect uh, who are sincerely doing this truth of yeah. doing the work, man. Because yep. the Lord is not going to send an angel. Uh, uh, and make the angel appear before those who are fearing him without a message he's sending, showing mm -hmm. that he's love, he love us. He, he, you know, that was a message, man. That was a faith booster. Yeah, that was a sign. <clears throat> Keep going. Yeah. It says, reading on Sirach 34 and 16, mm -hmm. he is their mighty protection and strong state of defense from heat. And they cover from the sun at noon. Mm-hmm. A preservation from stumbling, and then help from falling. See, this is what this is all with the thing things that the Lord is going to provide for those that fear Him, man. Don't take it as a slight thing. It takes a, a spiritual man and woman to believe in something that they can't see and actually put it in action. Yep. Fearing. When well, the Lord said not to eat pork, I'm not going to eat it. Right. Was the Lord here to tell you that? Can you see the Lord here? You know, you know how people get, man. Ninjas. Ninjas. Go ahead. Verse 17. He raised up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessing. Through this word. Yo. All right, this is the ultimate healing. This is the light. And it's only going to be connected to those who are fearing. Each and every day, you wake up, you do better. Because we're works in progress. We're not perfect. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord is making us perfect. The scriptures tell us in Judges, the fifth chapter, we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. You're not going to get it right perfectly because we in these bodies subject to sin. But you got to, you know, do it to the best of your ability. It's hard, but somebody got to do it, right? Mm, that's right. Somebody got to fear the Lord. Somebody got to be the elect. The Lord put his spirit on you to fear. Let's keep fearing, man. You got something? I got closer. Yeah, man, she got one. Um, got through the spirit. Uh, read. Um, yeah, that was it. Um, I got one, too. Um, what's yours? What? Uh, Sirach 1 and 13. Okay. Um, hold that. This is, um, give me, um, Sirach, uh, 18 and started, um, 27. Sirach 18 and 27. Mm-hmm. It says, a wise man will fear in everything. Yeah, a wise man, a prudent man will fear in everything, right? Because the scriptures say wisdom is supposed to meet you with every thought. Right. That wisdom is the fear. Right. Well, if I do this, there's a repercussion from it, from your how about me all shot. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, examples be like, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was reading the scriptures earlier in 2 Peter, it talks about moral excellence, like having integrity, you know, like you see someone walking down, a, you know, a path in front of you, like on a sidewalk and... Ten ten dollars fall out of their pocket. Like, are you gonna give that back to them? <laughs> now, there's certain cases where the Lord will have you know a blessing fall out of the sky. But like, come on, like, yeah, you know, it, it, are you using integrity? Are you using fear in your day to in our day to day walk? You know, to represent Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, and um, in a, in the right form and fashion. Yeah, considering the way you move, how you treat your brother. Yep. Your brother calling you a lot. Are you moping and groping, murmuring about picking up the phone? Right. And that brother is probably calling you just to vent, you know, or, or asking <clears> for <throat> counsel. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord sees everything. You know, so a wise man is going to fear and and how he, like, even checking himself because demons get on us. Mm -hmm. Have you thinking negative about a brother or about yourself or whatever, 
But what are you doing to combat that? Mm -hmm. You know? So a wise man is going to always consider these things because he's going to have a spirit of fear. That's right. That's right. Um, Sirach 18. 18 and what, 27. Mm -hmm. It says, a wise man will fear in everything and in the day of sinning. Hey, just like you brought up our forefather Joseph. Mm -hmm. You know? When um, um, uh, Pharaoh's uh, wife was, uh, you know, trying to get him, get her, get him to lay with her, you know, he, 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 he was, he met fear. Yep. You know, he used the wisdom of the scriptures and applied fear. And he hauled ass, man, because he feared the Lord. What the Lord could do to him, what the Lord would do to him mm -hmm. for such a, a, a disgusting act. Yep. Abomination. Yeah. That our people love so much. Got it. Reading on, Sirach uh, 18 and 27. A wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. Yeah, damn, I went off. Fuck. Yeah, I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? Slaki, y'all, bash, you know, shy, repent. Right, right. You know? Ask for forgiveness and, and keep it moving. You know, you, you know, the scripture don't let your sins weigh you down. Yep. A righteous man fall seven times, get it right back up. Yep. You got it. But a fool will not observe the time. Yeah, a blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, pretty much a non-believer. They're not going to observe the times, man. You know, they, they, they don't believe in uh, 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 fear in the Lord. Yep. They don't believe in uh, applying uh, the fear to everyday life. Yep. But that's a non-believer. Psalms 14 and 1. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. Will you finish? Yeah, go ahead. Verse 28. Every man of understanding knoweth wisdom. Knoweth the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. And will give praise unto him that found her. Yeah, because you, you can't talk to somebody in the world about this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. About fearing the Lord, doing what's right. You yep. know, yep. their their aspect of fearing the Lord is giving a bum money. Like if I don't give his bum money, the Lord's gonna look at me funny. Right. Nah. Scripture when you when thou do good, knows who thou do thou do is good to. Right. You know, you don't know why the Lord got that bum right. in that position. Right. <laughs> got him down that lower state, and you trying to help him out. <laughs> the Lord send you through the ringer. <laughs> well, well, Christians like to say, well. I don't use rude speech. Like, they don't say rude speech, but I don't say bad words. Yeah. You know, you can have a Christian, he'll eat. He'll eat a whole damn uh, pig, but let's you say the word F-U-C-K. Yep. And yep. they'll they'll fly out of their seat like you, like you, you know, uh, you know, committed murder. Mm -hmm. Because that's, they, they have no understanding. They lack the true understanding of, of truth, knowledge. Yep. With knowledge and understanding. Uh, Apostle Paul said, though I be rude in speech, but not in but knowledge. But not in knowledge. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Read that verse from the top, Bubba Kishore. Sirach 18 and 28. Every man of understanding know of wisdom and will give praise unto him that found her. Yeah, when give praise unto him that found her. Because you found someone like you. Yep. You know? That's right. It's a relief. Because you like what I was talk, talk about. You can't talk to someone to worry about fearing the Lord. Mm. You know? That's all I wanted on that. Time. Uh, I like that. I like that scripture right there. Yeah. Come. <clears throat> While you getting your last one, I got one more. Come. This is Sirach 19 and 18. It says, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted Ooh. of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. So you, you, <laughs> you ain't even got the first step. <laughs> right. Like you, you, you really um ain't got off the a home plate. You swinging and you missing every pitch right. coming your way because you ain't fearing your how about shimmy have a shot. Mm -hmm. You know, I the, the, we, you were talking about it earlier about like our, our people, they they don't see this truth as attractiveness. Yeah, something because really the solution is seeking your how about shimmy have a shot. Mm -hmm. But if you don't take the first step, which is fearing your how about shimmy have a shot. Then you're done. We're we're doomed. Mm -hmm. You ain't even even started. 
off the right way if you don't figure out how about Chanel Bashad. Right. Well, it goes back to uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against the evil works not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yep. So because, because they haven't been judged for their wickedness, why should I fear the Lord? Mm. You know? I've been putting Christian trees up my entire life. You know, I've been worshiping uh, uh, Jesus Christ and he's been blessing me. Right. Well, the Satan, is, you know, the, the, the devil was allowed to give blessings. Mm -hmm. look, look what he uh, presented with our, our Lord Yahweh shot. Yep. You know? Look at these kingdoms. I give him this. I give you this if you just worship me, man. Damn. Our people don't, a bunch of blockheads, man. Don't understand, you know, the scriptures at all. And that, that's, and look, that's why people continue to fear because judgment hasn't uh, 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 come knocking at their doorstep exactly. quickly. Exactly. Now, can you imagine as soon as uh, Jake laid down with another man's woman that they both uh, died? Mm. You know? Right. Sent back to the spirit world. <laughs> and that happened to everyone that was... Jake wouldn't be doing it. Right. Like you wanted to go into the, the work husbands and stuff like that. Right. That stuff, wouldn't, that stuff wouldn't be happening like that, man. <clears throat> this is uh, Ecclesiastes 19, huh? That's real. And 18, huh? It says, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom, the fear of the Lord, obtain of his love. Verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do these things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Yeah, because that shows that you're, you're, you're being obedient. Now, we, we understand that, the, that these other camps are... Uh, you know, they push the law, the law, the law. You can't be saved by the law. But right. keeping the law shows obedience, and it is the way of life. You know, it's a standard way of living. You know, when you uh, have the diet, you keep the dietary law. You know, you show love to your brother. You know, love to your neighbor, etc. Things of that nature. You know, it, it shows obedience. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but we understand that we're not going to be saved by the law, but keeping the law... Is one that's faithful and believing in Yahweh Shem Yahweh naturally is going to keep the law, mm -hmm. you know. But it also shows fear, yep. you know, reverence, respect. Yep, yep. And then going right to your point, this is verse twenty. It says, "The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law, and the knowledge of His omnipotency, right, of His power." Mm. That uh, omnipotency is unlimited powers, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, our power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You can't put the Lord in the box. It's unlimited powers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So you got your last one. Yep. Sirach one and thirteen. Whoso feared the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. And we are the last. The last, the end of Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed so-called white man's rulership. Second Ezra six and nine. Okay, it's going to go well for you at the last. It may, it may not seem like it, right, going through these tough trials, these tribulations, these tests that the Lord sends you through. But guess what? Keep fearing the Lord, and it's going to go well for you. During a time, what's this, that saying that Christians like to say? You know, uh, uh, how does it go? Talking about being on time. Always. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, 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 ah. He'd be there right on time. I forgot. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. Christians, they ain't gonna lie. They got some. They got. They got, hits. Yeah, they got. <laughs> they got some sayings for right. you. Right. But uh, you know, he's gonna. You know. Uh, he may not be there when you want him, but he'd be there right on time. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what's that chick? Shanti had a song like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always there always when you call. Always on time. But I'm always on time. Yeah, the yeah. Lord's gonna. Always, he's gonna be on time for you, man. That's right. Especially when you need him the most. Yep. <clears throat> and he's with us now. That's right. You know, going back to what we read in Psalms 34. <clears throat> you got it. Surat 1 and 13. 
Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. Mm -hmm. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. Yeah, the Lord's going gonna, to gonna, gonna be on your side in the day of death. Whether you escape it or whether you go through it with no pain. The Heavenly Father is going to be with us. And that has to be, excuse me, that has to be your faith. That's right. You know? Not what we fear, what man can do to us, as the scriptures say. Yeah. But fear him could torment that body and soul. Right. You know, that spirit in hell, roughly paraphrasing. Mm hmm Which is the, the condition played out here on earth. The Lord can bring you back jacked up. That's right. Well, well look at the man um, who, who died in this truth, who transitioned in this truth, I should say. Um... Who who feared you? How about Shai? You mm -hmm. know the men before us. You know that we enter into their labors. Mm -hmm. uh, King Masha, uh, high priest, uh, uh, high priest Yaquab Salakia. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, um, Elder Abba Bivens. You know, you had uh, uh, Elder um, Anatba. You mm -hmm. know, who who recently transitioned. Mm -hmm. These men feared you. How about Shai? So they sound they found favor in their transition mm -hmm. and. When Yahweh Shai comes back, the scriptures say they're going to be the first ones risen. Yep. You know? Yep, their works has fallen them. Exactly. Their works have fallen them. So these are honorable men. Because when you fear Yahweh Shai, that's an honorable thing. It's in the scripture, in this, in this chapter as well. But I'll read on. Okay. It says, verse 14 is the last one. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Created with, with the elect in the womb. So the Lord put the spirit on you to, to fear him. And look, continue to fear, continue to pray that you are able to fear the Lord to the best of your ability. Because it's going to be a reward at the end of the day for this thing, man. What's that? Uh, Job 28? Mm -hmm. 28 and... Um, and 8. 28. And 28. See what that say real fast? Yep. Show. The book of Job chapter 28. Oh, verse 28. Yeah. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Uh-huh. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from the evil. What's the evil? The, the nonsense of this world that's promoted through Esau, Edom. Okay? It's understanding, right? Yeah. So look, man, we just wanted to throw something out there. Lord, that's was edifying. You know, just continue to fear the Lord. You know, you know us ourselves, speaking first and foremost, because we're doing this lesson. Mm -hmm. You know, every, every every day the Lord wake you up, put breath in you, man. Let's continue to fear to the best of our ability. You know, because we know what the Lord is capable of. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. The one of our apostles, great millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.